Joe Rogan might be a CIA agent. Today, we'll examine all the evidence, looking at secret CIA operations, reasons behind censored episodes, and even people coming back from the dead. All to answer the question, is Joe Rogan an undercover CIA agent? To do so, we must first travel back in time to 1949. It is the height of the Cold War, and America is desperately trying to fight back against the communist regime in the East. The CIA director at the time, Frank Wisner, was given the task to manipulate the media to promote capitalism and tarnish the Soviet Union. To achieve this goal, the CIA would first bribe journalists and foreign publications. Their first recruit was the man who ran the Washington Post, Philip Graham. He was tasked with running the propaganda machine from the inside. Interestingly, the Graham family that founded the Washington Post just recently sold their giant media company to Jeff Bezos for $250 million. But that is for a separate video. Soon, with help from Philip Graham, the CIA had infiltrated huge publications such as CBS, Time Magazine, and the New York Post, giving them specific narratives to promote. They also had a mighty grip on Hollywood. The CIA constantly carried out investigations into people within the film industry who opposed their views. In one incident, 10 people from Hollywood were sent to jail for a short period and were blacklisted on suspicions of having communist ties. Moreover, the CIA would even fund the creation of the Hollywood movie Animal Farm, a movie based on capitalism versus communism. Then, in 1972, came the Watergate scandal. Five burglars were arrested for breaking into the Democratic Party headquarters at the Watergate complex. However, an anonymous informant named Deep Throat released information to the press that the burglary was done by the CIA on the order of President Nixon to wiretap the Democratic Party as part of his re-election campaign. Nixon completely denied any claims about Watergate and was re-elected. However, mounting evidence and the infamous Nixon tapes, which contained Nixon's secret calls from the White House, were released in 1974. Nixon's involvement in Watergate was clear and he resigned from the presidency a few weeks later. This outraged the public and led to the Church Committee being formed in 1975, which investigated potential abuses of power by the CIA, FBI, and IRS. In what was called the Church Hearings, the investigation declassified CIA documents and uncovered Operation Mockingbird. The CIA had no choice but to admit to the propaganda machine they were running, and so, after 25 years, Operation Mockingbird was shut down. So, how does this relate to Joe Rogan? Well, one, it shows the CIA are willing and able to control and manipulate the media. Secondly, and scarier, this shows us that in these modern times, there are multiple new ways for the CIA to influence the public. And as they have done it before, is Mockingbird 2.0 in the present day so far out of the question? And who better to have at the center of this operation than Joe Rogan, the man with the largest podcast in the world? That is a very lucrative target. This is a real threat. The only solace we have is that some people seem to be catching on. I mean, this we are, and this is another thing we we've done these so many times. We, we're gonna repeat, of course, but like, dude, one of the, I do worry about you sometimes, man, because it's like, I think you're gonna get. I think it's finally gonna happen. I think one of your fucking guests is gonna come in here with a briefcase and he's gonna show you something. And I don't know what it is. Like an alien piece of a I spacecraft? I don't know what it is. I was is. hoping it was gonna be Tom DeLong. I was hoping he had something. No, I- Unfortunately, what Duncan Trussell feared might have already happened, which we will uncover as we continue our investigation. This next piece of evidence is key for the whole story. Before the modern-day anti-establishment movement, there were very few people publicly questioning the U.S. government. One of the first and most influential people to do this was Bill Hicks during the 80s and 90s. Even 30 plus years ago, he was tapped into global political events that are still relevant to this day. Well, as far as the Palestinians specifically, uh, you know, they were there, they need their land, and uh, Israel is a satellite of this country, we sell them nuclear weapons. And uh, you can uh, just imagine what kind of deal the Palestinians are going to get. Joe has also often talked about the impacts Hicks had. But to me, he changed comedy in a lot of ways because he, he made people talk about things that were important. 
Now, why is Bill Hicks important to understanding if Joe Rogan works for the CIA? Well, Bill Hicks, Joe Rogan, and Alex Jones all began their careers in the same production company called Sacred Cow Productions. If you haven't heard of Alex Jones, he is also a huge anti-establishment conspiracy theorist who infamously predicted the 9-11 attacks, among other things. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so glad uh, that you could join us today for this Wednesday, July 25th, 2001 broadcast. Tyranny is enveloping the globe, and the United States is a shining jewel the globalists want to bring down, and they will use terrorism as the pretext to get it done. So that's coming up in the second half of the show. Very important information. I'm going to put the call out that you call the White House and tell them, look, we've seen the news stories that you've wanted to blow things up, that you have blown things up, and that you're saying that four million of us are going to die and we need martial law and the Associated Press one of your little drills you had and that we're aware of who the terrorists are if you pull this this can stop this Hitlerian Reichstag event so these three massive figures who are all anti-establishment and reveal conspiracy theories began at the same production company that seems like quite a coincidence Going deeper down the rabbit hole, there is also a separate conspiracy theory that Alex Jones is physically the same person as Bill Hicks. Let me explain. Bill Hicks died at age 32 in 1994. Then only three years later, in 1997, Alex Jones appeared in the same production company that gave Bill Hicks his start, Sacred Cow Productions. They also look similar facially, share similar mannerisms, and have similar anti-establishment ideologies. There are more resemblances between the two, but incorporating this conspiracy into the wider picture, it is that the CIA remodeled Bill Hicks as Alex Jones to serve as as their new modern day agent. But don't Alex Jones, Bill Hicks, and Joe Rogan all uncover conspiracy theories? If these conspiracies are true, wouldn't the government want to keep them secret and silence these people? Yes, you are correct. But there is a deeper and darker agenda at play here, which we will uncover to reveal the CIA's true intentions and their purpose behind controlling Joe Rogan and Alex Jones. But let's first continue to examine the evidence. David Seaman is a guest who was on the Joe Rogan Experience seven times from 2012 to 2014. However, all of these seven episodes, along with any clips or traces of any of these episodes, have been completely erased from the internet. David Seaman was just a journalist covering technology, so why were all of his episodes deleted? During the 2016 presidential campaign, there was a theory that a pizzeria in Washington, D.C. was the center of a sex trafficking ring for the Democratic Party. This resulted in an armed individual going into the pizzeria to try and prove it. However, the gunman found no evidence and the theory was said to be debunked by the FBI. This was known as Pizzagate and David Seaman was one of the main whistleblowers of this conspiracy. Soon after, the term Pizzagate and anything related to it was heavily censored, such as the banning of Twitter accounts or Reddit posts related to this conspiracy theory. David Seaman also fell victim to this censorship due to his promotion of Pizzagate and was banned from Twitter, YouTube, and interestingly, even his seven episodes on Joe Rogan were all removed, despite the episodes being recorded many years before Pizzagate and so having nothing to do about the conspiracy theory at all. This is a strange thing to do from Joe Rogan's perspective. The complete removal of all episodes from a guest you had on seven times because a few years later they were promoting a conspiracy theory that was officially debunked, this seems extreme. Especially since Joe Rogan himself discusses conspiracy theories on his podcast and also has guests such as Alex Jones who come on the podcast and promote conspiracy theories. It poses the question, why censor one conspiracy theory but happily promote others? David Seaman appears to have the answer. It says I can't connect right now. I have a full broadband connection, 40 megabits per second. Uh, I'm already being censored, only a few seconds in. Joe Rog- I'll keep this brief since I'm being censored. Joe Rogan is a shill. Joe Rogan is a shill. Joe Rogan is a shill. Hopefully at least one of those got out into the live stream. 
Joe Rogan is a shill. But the key message to take home is, why and who is controlling Joe Rogan? Censoring only certain conspiracy theories, but allowing him to openly promote others, such as all the ones discussed with the Alex Jones. This question links us back to the original point of uncovering the CIA's purpose for controlling Joe Rogan and Alex Jones. Imagine you had a big secret you didn't want people to find out. Let's say you cheated on your girlfriend and she's getting suspicious and could sense you're keeping something from her. To throw her off, you reveal a different secret, but crucially, you make her feel like she found it. For example, you accidentally leave your laptop unlocked with emails about a holiday you are secretly planning for her. By fabricating and revealing this supposed secret, you guide her attention away from the real secret you want her to avoid finding out that you cheated on her. It's like a Trojan horse. This is what the CIA used Joe Rogan and Alex Jones for to promote false conspiracy theories to mislead the public away from the actual secrets that those in power want to be kept unknown. This is called controlled opposition. This is why conspiracy theories such as Pizzagate, which the CIA didn't want to be revealed because there is some truth behind them, are censored, but all the episodes with Alex Jones, for example, are still available. This is why Sacred Cow Productions links Bill Hicks, Alex Jones, and Joe Rogan together. It is where they received their CIA training. And when you look at the extent to which the CIA used propaganda with Operation Mockingbird and the Watergate scandal, is something like this really out of the question? Would the CIA really allow just any conspiracy theories, some that may be true, to be revealed on a podcast listened to by millions of people? Instead, it would make sense to control the conspiracy theorists to ensure that they know what conspiracies will be revealed to release fake secrets and frame them as the truth, thereby keeping anyone off the trail of actual secrets the CIA do want to protect. The final piece of evidence we present to you involves Mike Baker. If you were familiar with the JRE podcast, you would have suspected he would make an appearance in this video. Mike Baker is labeled as a former CIA agent. He appears on the Joe Rogan podcast around once every few months. He is a shady man and it is shown by the names of his apparent children. We got, for, for Christmas, we got the two youngest ones, Muggsy and Sluggo, we got uh, iPhones for them. I mean, Muggsy and Sluggo? These scream CIA black ops operatives. But how he links into the story is that Mike Baker is potentially Joe Rogan's CIA handler. Not only does he show that Joe is linked to the CIA, but he is another example of controlled opposition. This retired CIA agent reveals things that the CIA wants you to know, keeping you away from any secrets that they actually want to keep secret. Just by having Mike Baker on, it presents the CIA as open and transparent, which we know they're not. But also, Mike Baker may appear friendly, making jokes and sharing stories on the podcast, but it is simply a facade he has been told to uphold. All this is designed to give the impression that the CIA are also friendly to distract the public from the fact that they do dark dealings and bend the law often for their own gain. So is Joe Rogan a CIA agent? Based on Operation Mockingbird alone, it does at least make sense for the CIA to have paid off someone as influential as Joe Rogan. Then, in addition with the other evidence, I do not think Joe Rogan working with the CIA is outside the realm of possibility. But of course, this is all just speculation. If you want to dive further into Joe Rogan-oriented conspiracies, we go even deeper in our one hour plus iceberg, looking at his ties with BlackRock, his involvement in planning COVID, and his controversial past. Click here to watch.